Hello everybody, now we'd like to introduce you the new functions of IOSD. First, you need to connect the IOSD to the computer and power on. Then double click the icon of IOSD. In this interface, we can adjust the position of the flight data overlay. In addition, the IOSD now has the flight log function. Click the data view to view the recorded flight data. Every time you power on the aircraft, the IOSD will record a new data and it will be saved separately. So now let's open one of these files here. In this interface, we've got new window, open data, mouse arrow, zoom in, zoom out, jack, and applicable window tool. On the right, we can see all the data recorded. You can double click and view it. At the same time, at the bottom, you can see the name and interpretation of each corresponding data. In this chart, the horizontal axis represents the flight time and the unit is in second. The vertical axis represents the corresponding data. Next, we will explain the actual meaning of each data one by one. Output M1 records the M1 channel output history data by the MC and output M2 to add to record the history data of M2 to add to channel output. Of course, we can view each of them one by one. It is important to know that when you're using cold rotor aircraft, only M1 to M4 have the output data. And when you're using hex rotor aircraft, only M1 to M6 have output. When you're using out rotor aircraft, the M1 to F2 have the output. Regarding to the input, we recorded the history data on aileron, elevation, rudder, mode switch, throttle, X2, and X3. In addition, we also recorded the power battery voltage, the voltage of the MC, and the can port line voltage. For the attitude, we recorded the longitude, latitude, height, three axis acceleration data of the X, Y, Z axis of the accelerometer, the barometer data, as well as the number of satellites. Pitch, raw, and yaw for the three axis angle data, the unit is in reading. The velocity x, y, z represents the speed of the aircraft on the three axes respectively. So that's pretty much about it. Hope the data will help you to analyze some problems if you have during the flight. Thank you for watching.